Welcome back to the Yearly Fantasy Challenge podcast powered by Auto Prime. Uh, I'm Javi Ancedo, your host. I'm unfortunately, our, our, my co-host, Frankie Sachs, cannot be available. But he'll be back next week. But this week, we have a very special guest, uh, Fenerbahce Bekos and Bull Playmaker, Nick Alethes. How are you, man? How are you, my man? Good to see you. Yeah, well, uh, let's talk about uh, the season a little bit. You come off a double week. You also got a big, really important uh, win in the Turkish league. Uh, things are rolling, not just for the team, but also for you. You're playing really well lately. Uh, you know, the team's going good. Um, you know, guys are playing good basketball. It's always important to come off a double week with two wins. And um, we lost one against Valencia, a tough one on the road, but uh, they've been playing very good basketball. And, um, you know, for me, I just trying to do the little things that I can do to help the team and, um, you know, and I've been playing okay. People usually play better in the second season in the same team. That seems to be your case, right? I mean, you're adjusted to the city, to the club, and everything rolls. Uh, yes, uh, you know, you get used to your teammates. Uh, you know where, especially as a point guard, you know what to expect from them. And, um, you know, you have a, a good chemistry with the, with the guys that last year, let's say you didn't know so well, and they're newcomers, and I was new. So uh, it's it's getting easier to play with the guys and – and it always helps. All right. Well, we're getting in touch with you because we have, uh, I guess you're familiar with this game, the Yearly Fantasy Challenge that has been in the Yearly for 20 years. It's our fantasy game, but I'm not doing very well. I'm having <laughs> problems, man. I'm surprised, so, man. Your basket, your basketball knowledge is pretty is pretty solid. I'm, yeah, I'm surprised. I, us I usually do fair. well, but uh, this year I'm like 25,000. You can, you can see my team now on the screen. And uh, I mean, uh, I'm picking the <laughs> not, right... You're not picking not picking the right guys, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I need I need some help. So I was wondering if you can help me. Uh, uh, I got you. I'll do my best. I'll do my best. The thing is that this this week, for the first time ever in 20 years, we have unlimited trading in the middle of the season. So I've got to make the most out of it, man. And I mean, I can trade everybody and I can okay. start over. And I wanted to ask you about if you can give me just some tips about guards, forwards, and centers. Uh, let's start with the guards. Uh, should I pick any any particular guard? Um, I mean, you got me on the roster. I have nobody in the roster right now. You no, know, man. You know, you came and you don't even put your, you know, your good friend on the roster. You know, I'm just kidding. Um, no, no, no. Right, so <laughs> let's do it. Let's do it. What the hell? I'm gonna. I don't know how many. I don't know how much the points are worth. I don't know how it all works that much. But you know, I, you I know, have I have a hundred credits of of, uh, and you are ten point nine credits, and, and you you've been playing well. I mean. If you're gonna be okay. nearing triple doubles every week, then <laughs> everybody will. Know, everybody will help you. Know, let's see. Um, so, um, let's go with for guard. Uh, well, I'm much... gonna pick you. I'm gonna pick you. I think. Uh, okay. We'll Put see. Me on and, then... and then you can trade me if I do bad. You know, you can trade me. Yeah, yeah. We have three trades per week in in regular weeks, but uh, this week, like I said, it's a limited. Forwards, I was thinking. Okay, the, the best two forwards right now in the game are, are Chima Moneke and, and Toko Shengelia. I think both are playing well. Both Maybe playing I... good basketball. Uh, I think you got to look at the matchups, to be honest, of who uh, each team plays against. Um, yeah, true. Moneke plays Panathinaikos. I okay. Think without Papa Petru, they're kind of short at forwards. Papa Pedro, Dino is coming back from an injury. I think that could be a good one for sure. And then Schengel is playing well also because uh, it's not just uh, matchups, but the fact that unfortunately Achille Polonara is out. Uh, yes. So he's going to get some. He's gonna, yes, you're right. Yeah. Uh, let's go. I think I think Moneke is good. It's a good pickup for yeah. sure. I'm looking and, at the teams that who they play against. Um, yeah, Moneke could be a good one. I agree. All right. And then and at center, I mean, if you go. Expensive. Then we'll have to see about the backup players, which will be very cheap. But of course, uh, the most expensive centers are Milutinova and, and Lesort. Uh, uh, they are playing really I'm well. Thinking, I'm thinking Tavares. Tavares is he is he healthy? He's healthy. He played uh, relatively well uh, this weekend, and they're gonna play Barca now. So, or or Motley, Jonathan Motley. He had a big game last game. How much but, does he cost? Uh, 12.9, but uh, do you think Model is going to do well against Ibaka? That's an issue, eh? Tough one. You're right. It's going to be a tough and uh, it'd be a tough game. Um, yeah. Maybe yeah. I'm thinking, ah, to, as Barcelona Madrid game, huh? Yeah, in Madrid. So maybe Tavares would be a good choice because he hasn't been playing well, but this is his opportunity to actually 
prove that yes. he is uh, the best center in the league, like everybody thinks, right? Yes, so... I'm, I'm thinking. I'm thinking Tavares. Okay, Tavares. Let's uh, let's go Tavares. Uh, let's go with the coach. Um, I like to do this. I think. Uh, I mean, I mean, you come off a double week with back to back wins, uh, but his yes. nine credits and nine credits for a coach is a lot. Uh, I was thinking uh, of going cheaper, and I have two options, and I'm gonna pick whatever you said, which is uh, I'm gonna go for Luca Banki of Virtus playing against Asbel in Lyon. That's a good one. I, or I go, with, uh, I go with that one right there. All right, no, you don't want to hear the the other one. I don't even want to. I don't even want to hear the other one. I think you know, he's uh they're playing very good basketball. They, you know, I think you you, you go with that. A team that team is struggling a little bit. They just, you know, got rid of Coach Parker. So I think um I think Vertis Bologna coach would be a good one. Okay. We have to think then um backup players. And backup players we we need to think it through because we don't have much credits. We have 41 credits for six players. That's not a lot of credits. So how, much, how, much you, is, how much is Nigel? Nigel Hayes Davis. How much does he cost? Nigel Hayes Davis went down on, on value because, uh, but he's still he's still expensive. He's eleven point three credits. Okay, he's expensive, huh? Yeah. Um, the thing is that I need to put six players, and uh, I and have no. forty one credits. Like the average is like seven now, so I'm gonna go for very cheap uh, guys because I have Tavares. So I'm thinking of a of a cheap um, center. Let cheap. me. Let me see. Uh what I have cheap, uh let's let's say six credits or less. Uh I have uh, Jaime Pradilla of uh, Valencia, they play against Argeris. I have uh poof, everything else. Everything else uh, is a good let me let me go up to seven. I can put Birutis for seven. Birutis is a good choice, I think. Yes, it might be a good choice for seven. Uh, uh also <laughs> the, for that money, you have uh, also Balsa Koprivic, uh, the big guy in Partizan, but they play okay. uh, they play Red Star, so that's a tough game. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Birutis, I think. Uh, yeah, go with Bir- go with Birutis. Yes, I agree. And, uh, the good thing is that in guards, you have a lot of uh, good options for very little money. Uh, you can put uh, Larenzakis, you can put uh, Di Bartolomeo. Also for six credits, and you can put this guy from Valencia Basket, Josep Puerto, who had a terrific game the other day. Puerto, Puerto Mario had a big game against uh, Panthenaikos. Maybe you should uh, put him on. Maybe he's gonna keep getting more minutes, and you know, especially with Baldwin, Baldwin out. All right. Uh, I was gonna ask you: Do you do you play any kind of fantasy games? Not just the yearly fantasy, but do you play any other fantasy games? Uh... I, I do. I do NFL. Uh, American Football League. I have with my friends uh, a group, and uh, the loser has to do. Uh, loser of the group has to do some crazy thing that we we say at the end of the season. Like you know, I think last year we did like he wore like a, I don't know what it was like a costume or something around, you know. Uh, I don't you know we do crazy things. So I do um, NFL okay. fantasy. Well, uh, you you'd like to know that the the overall winner of the of the fantasy challenge gets a VIP trip to next year's final four. Not this year. I mean, not twenty twenty four, but twenty twenty five. Whatever it is, he's gonna go VIP for four VIP t- uh, nights, two VIP tickets. He's gonna be treated like a like a superstar over there. That's that's big time. Anybody anybody can join. Anybody can play in it. Anybody can play. So, but the, now it's a little bit too late because anybody who started the season they have a significant advantage over the others. But um, yes. All right. Well, uh, forwards. I'm going to put a really cheap forward because that way I can put a couple of better players. And I'm going to put the, the cheapest forward there is. I mean, the the minimum is four credits. And the only okay. player who gets playing time with four credits is uh, Jan Wimber, uh, Niklas Wimber of uh, of Bayern. They're going to play against you. I don't think he's okay. going to have a great game. But it's okay if you discard one player. Uh, yes, you can cheap. Why not? You know, yeah. four credits. So now I have uh, I have uh, money for a, a guard and a forward. Uh, the thing is that I have very two good forwards. I trust Moneke and Sangelia. Okay. Th- there's no need to go for a big one. Uh, so I'm gonna no. spend big on the on the guard. I have how many how many credits you have left? Uh, Nineteen point five. Uh, and 
And there are going to be options. Anybody from, uh, for instance, Keenan Evans could be a, cho a choice. La Provitola could be a choice. Darius Thompson plays Olympiacos on the road. Uh, Decolo plays Virtus at home. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe Lapro. Lapro always has a big game against uh, Madrid. Really? All right. Well, yeah. True. I mean, and he's been he, against... he's been unbelievable. That's for sure. Yeah. He's, he's been playing against his former team. Hmm. Lapro could be a good choice. Give me, give me other choices. You got Decolo. Who else? Uh, I have Darius Thompson. I have Chris Jones. I have Costas Lucas. Uh, I have Keenan Evans against Valencia at home. Keenan uh, Evans could be a good one too. I'd, I'd like to put uh, Will Beking, but maybe Will Beking and you. It's a little bit risky, you know? Uh, um, could be. It just depends on, I mean, if you, you know, the credits, you get points uh, more, or is everything count as like one? How does it, it work? It counts uh, the PIR. The, the oh, PIR uh, is the main deal. Hmm. Okay. Uh, you... I, there are two more options that I like. I mean, I like Evans. I uh, I like Laporo. But there's Bildoza also against Basconia, who is his former team, and they play at home. Yes. And we have World Cup also. But World Cup is not a great scorer, but he gets steals, he gets assists, he can do yes. this and that. Who does Olympiacos play? Efes at home. That could be a good one. All right. It could be good. It could be a good one. Let's do walk up. Okay, I'll I'll pick World Cup. Uh, since he plays me. a lot, plays like thirty eight minutes a game, so he'll get that, you a lot of stats. That gives me decent money for the for the forward eight credits. Uh, I can get anybody from Olinde to Grigonis to John Brown to let me see Adam Hanga, Butkevichus. Hey, one of, one of these would be. Uh, I like Grigonis. But he hasn't been playing real well. Yes. Uh, like Bonga, but he comes off a horrible game in, in Palau Lograna. Uh, so Maybe Gregonis. Gregonis has been playing well. Okay. If you say, uh, all right, well, that's uh, that should be it. So we're going to go with, so you know, we're going to go uh, with you and Moneke, Shangelia, Gregonis, and Tavares. Okay. Plus World Cup, Birutis, Wimberg, Puerto, and Di Bartolomeo. Yeah, sounds good. Let's see good if you help him. I mean, <laughs> I'll, I'll let I you mean, know. If you're doing if you're doing that bad, I you know I can't be can't be that worse, right? All right, <laughs> you never know. Uh, I'm gonna ask you for for a small favor. Let's see, uh, one for Fantasy Challenge managers who will be watching the game. Okay. If if you hit a three pointer, can you do something special in your first three point shot? Like uh, I don't know, bump your chest once or something like that. Uh, I'll go like this. Okay, like this. I'll go like this. Yep. Perfect. So that people know that uh, you know you've been following and. For the fantasy. And... Yep. All right. Yes, sir. Okay, well, uh, thank you very much. We'll see. I'll, I'll let you know how it goes. Uh, I mean, the team looks pretty good, uh, and, uh, and you cannot do possibly worse than me. I've, I've been horrible this season. Man, it's it's killing me, really. Uh, it just started, so you bounce back, you know, bounce back. Yeah, yeah we have, what, 30 more rounds? Yeah. Uh, a, lot I guess, game, uh, a lot of games left, a lot of games left, so right. you'll, pick, you'll pick it up, you'll pick it up. All right. Well, thank, uh, thanks a lot, Nick. Uh, best of luck during the season. Uh, maybe we'll check out. I mean, we'll check back with you at some point during during the season, if you don't mind. Uh, okay. Perfect. And uh, like I said, uh, uh, good luck not just against Bayern but against everybody else. All right. Thank you. Good luck to everyone doing the fantasy, and uh, hope to see you in the final four. All right, and uh, guys, uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, enjoy the Turkish Champions League games. We have two derbies this week: uh, Partizan against Vesta and Madrid against Barca. Should be good ones, but all games are going to be, you know, every game matters. So take care and uh, see you next week. Bye. Have a good one.